Database webhooks are a convenient way of sending real-time data from your database to another system whenever some event occurs in the table. Now, this could be when a new record is inserted or updated or an existing row is deleted. Now, there is already a really nice um, tutorial for API requests with database webhooks. Um, make sure you check that out in the docs. But we have now added the capability to basically add database webhooks to point at your deployed um, edge functions. And so since we're edgy edge functions here, now let's take a look how we can wire this up through the dashboard. So first of all, let's create a new Superbase function. So within our Superbase project, we say Superbase functions new and let's call it database hyphen webhook. So we're creating a function that will be triggered anytime you know there's a new row inserted into our table. So let's do that. So for our database webhook, let's look at um, this. We'll just say hello from database webhook when we spin up the webhook function. Um, and then here, so we will get um, a JSON payload. So we'll just call this payload. Um, and in a first step, let's go ahead and console log out our payload. Let's actually JSON stringify that to make it a little bit nicer. So our payload, and then we can format it um, like this. So it looks nice and is um, indented. So this is the uh, indent option here. Uh, and then we'll just reply with um, just uh, 200. Okay. Um, and so let's go ahead and deploy this function. So uh, you remember when we are deploying functions, Superbase functions deploy, we say database webhook. Um, and if we don't specify the no verify JWT, we will need um, a valid JWT in the requests authorization header. Uh, so let's actually do this, we can, you know, kind of use that to lock down our webhook a little bit, make sure that not um, everyone is just um, able to trigger our webhook and make sure that the request is, for example, actually coming from our database. So now we have our database webhook um, function deployed. Um, and so we can look at it in our dashboard. We have our database webhook um, method, and we can see here we're enforcing JWT um, verification. So let's actually go ahead and find our um, JWT. So we can use our Anon public key. This will be um, a valid JWT um, for our function. And now we go to database and webhooks here and we can create a new hook so let's do that we'll call this edgy uh, edge hook and then we can select our table here and so something that's really neat is we have the different schemas available so for example we could also trigger this anytime a new user signs up with Superbase Auth. So then a new row is added to auth.users in um, the Superbase Auth schema. And we could trigger a function to then, for example, send off an email. Well, email is kind of integrated, but like, for example, um, you know, send the user an SMS or, you know, maybe sync the user, for example, to HubSpot or something like that, um, you know, an external system. So um, we could do that. But now let's find our public animals. So that's our table. And we want any time a new animal is inserted, we want to trigger this hook. And so now this part is new here, we can now select our Superbase edge function um, to be triggered. And we can say we want a post request to be made to our database webhook function. Um, content type application JSON, and then we'll add our um, JWT here. Uh, we will need to prefix it with the bearer keyword curve, so we can see this here, kind of what we need 
we need the bearer um, with the uh, let's make sure we only have it once Spera uh, JWT and the name is uh, here authorization uh, and then that's it we don't need to append any HTTP parameters because we're automatically sent the payload from that insert here and so let's go ahead let's create our webhook and so now we can see we have our edgy edge hook Actually, let's delete this one here. Um, I uh, created that earlier to test some things out. Um, so make sure we're not triggering many things at once. And now we go to our table and we enter a new uh, animal. So we can insert a new animal, uh, we'll say a cat. So we have a line, let's put in the cat. And so now as this is inserted, our edge function is being triggered. So database webhook here, and we can look at the logs and we can see here, that's great, our JWT verification worked and we have nicely printed our console log of the payload. So this is the payload. Um, maybe we can just put that in here. Um, let's actually create, um, an interface, call it webhook um, payload. So we can type um, kind of our payload a little bit. And we uh, let's put this in here. Uh, so we can say this would be insert, uh, update, or um, delete, we could also create an enum for this if we wanted to. So our table would be a string. And now this we can actually generate from our um, database. So let's for now call this uh, any. And then our schema Well, there could be different schema as well. But let's say we'll just um, use public. And then our old record, um, will have it as null or you know, it could be um, a database record as well. So how can we get the the record um, type from our database table? So this is quite convenient, we can actually generate uh, types superbase. And we can do that quite conveniently here with um, this uh, npx, uh, we don't actually even need to install uh, the superbase CLI for this. So let's copy this out. Um, we have our so we'll want to put this into Superbase um, functions, uh, and then database webhooks database. There we do data. How do we spell database webhooks? And then we can just say types dot TypeScript, uh, and then we'll need our project ID. So our project ID we can find in um, the URL here. So that's our project ID. Um, and so we can actually run this uh, to pull down the types for our uh, database. So we can see that here. And we have our animals table. Uh, and so we can import this um, database interface. So we can say, um, you can see here, so we're generating our types. And then we can import uh, database from um, the types. So we'll just say uh, here, import from uh, types.ts. Uh, and that is our database. There we are. And then we can make this actually to be our database record. So database has um, our public schema, uh, we can traverse this, we have our um, tables, and then we have our animals. And from our animals, we want the um, row. So these are the types, we can now see we have the types um, that we get from, um, you know, when a row is being selected. Uh, and then here as well, we can have this either as null, uh, we could also 
um, make this, uh, we could say, type, um, let's say, animal record equals this. And then we can say, this is our animal record. And then here as well, we have this uh, animal record. And so now we have our TypeScript um, types set up. We have them auto-generated from our database, which is very conven convenient. And what we can say now is we can do the payload as um, the webhook payload. And so now what we can do is if we want to get the animal's name, we can say console log payload dot uh, payload dot record dot um, animal. Animal would be the name of our animal, so it's a string. So we can give that save. And now let's redeploy our function. Superbase functions deploy. And now let's go back and add um, another animal to our table. So we've got cats now. So maybe let's get um, insert a dog as well for the dog lovers. Give that a save. Mm. Gotta click correctly. And so now if we go back to our database webhook logs, we can now see we get our dog. There we have it. So now database webhooks are integrated with Superbase Edge functions, making it really easy to connect uh, real-time events from your database tables to your Edge functions. And with that, basically the whole internet. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.